guys welcome back to the channel um this is just gonna be like uh one of my other videos that i did uh the car that i'm upgrading the parts the body that i have the tires electronics and the parts that i have and the paint that it's going to be um the next video will be on the start of the tear down we're gonna tear this body down there's a few parts that um i thought i had but i don't so I ordered them already and they're gonna be in within the next couple of days or so. So by the time I do the next video, it should be all right. But uh, either way, we've got enough to work with until then, until the parts come in. But yeah, so this video we're gonna be doing, guys, is the um, 4x4 Sentin. This is the uh, brushed one. Um, yeah, I'm looking at all the stickers. I only took this car out one time. It's a nice car. Uh, 4x4 scenting. And it's brush version. So, what I'm going to put in it is the uh, rigid or rugged. Rigid, rugged, whatever they called it. DX5 transmitter. Shoes, we're going to put GTJ 2 S1s. These are the racing 1 8 ones. Big, uh, big 17 millimeters, I think. Um, they're going on, but I also have the adapters for the wheels. I'm gonna put these adapters on the wheels. Um, pinions, I'm gonna use the pinion. Um, it's at a 14 now, so I think I'm gonna try all the way up to like a 23, see how it goes. And if I strip these gears for the um spur, I have two more stronger ones, but. I'm gonna look up on full metal ones and see how that works out. So on this body, I think it's a 50 Pro Line. It's a Pro Line 50 something body. 56 F100. So see if you can see it. There's been a lot of them out there. I have talked to a few guys that that's what I'm doing. See if you can see that. Yeah. But it is the uh, nice one. I like the way it looks. Uh, yeah, 56 Ford F100, the Pro Touring Street Truck. So I'm gonna do that, that body. I'm gonna put this this uh engine on the outside. It's gonna have the engine head, the blower and all that. So it's gonna be, you know, a little bit of a different look, but that's what it's gonna do. So for the drive shaft, I'm gonna put the uh, bearings that I put. They lock it. It's an adapter that you can put on the um, drive shaft. Yeah, it's still going to be plastic. I haven't found any metal ones yet. I put it on my, what did I put it on? The Typhon. Back there, the Typhon. I put it on there and it runs good on 3S on that one. This one's going to be um, with a 6S system. I'm not sure if I'll go 6S. I'll see how it works out on 4S, but we'll try afterwards. So the system that I am putting in is the Arma. Yeah, the BLX1, was that 185? Yeah, 185 with the uh, motor, the four pole, 2050 KV. So that should give it a little bit of a giddy up. Uh, the colors I'm gonna paint it is gonna be the white. I'm gonna paint it like the old school trucks, how they were back then. Uh, the white top, the roof is gonna be white. The bed's probably gonna be black or maybe the color blue. But this is gonna be the body and the roof is gonna be blue. And of course, which I like it, I like the way it looks when it's in the sun, I'm gonna put the pearl in it. I might add another color, I'm not sure yet, maybe a little bit of silver, but for now, it's gonna be the blue and the white. And um, so, yeah, that's everything for now. So, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna tear it down the next video, but this video is just to show you what we're working on. I did have a few um, responses to this video that I did with uh, one the uh, nickel metal high drive battery and then the 2S LiPo battery the difference between speed and the 2S LiPo battery did give it a lot of speed a little bit more I should say but enough for it to fishtail um, so we're gonna start it with the uh, 3S battery when I put it in 3S and then the 4S and then we'll see how it goes from there um, so like I said, with the the pinion, the spur gear is gonna be probably 50. What's that? 57, 52, 57. We'll see how it is. Um, 
Yeah, 57. And the uh, pinions are going to go from, not 14, because 14 is obviously on the brush. So I'm going to go up another two. So I'll probably go from 16 to 23, see if that works. Which one works good on it without it like heating up or anything. Obviously, the ESC has a motor. I got a motor. I do have a uh, fan. The ESC has a fan. I have a fan for the motor. I believe it's the Armour one too. Uh, if not, I still have other ones there. Uh, let's see. What else am I, was I going to do? Just put this together real quick. Just to give you guys a video that, like I said, the last one, this is going to be the next one. And it is. So it's been like about a year already. Going on a year that I took this out maybe. Eight months, something like that. But this is it, guys. So let me just show you real quick. The body is clean. I don't think I've ever flipped it either. But um, yeah, even has the battery in it. And this is all stock. Yeah, I took it out once. All stock. Sharks. I might do the sharks as well. I'm not sure. I have quite a few over there. I can see. Um, but it is gonna be lower. I wanted to hug. I wanted to hug the ground, yeah. The the servo, it's a um, Spectrum servo. I don't know how strong it is. I didn't read the box or anything. I don't know how strong it is, but I'm gonna keep it in there for now while I do the changeover and see how that works out. I don't know how the quick the response is for it, but it's a Spectrum servo, so I don't think it's that bad. But if it is, uh, I got I have other servos over there, the metal ones are a lot fast a lot faster so we'll see how it goes with this one first and then switch it over after but um yeah so guys this is a next video is going to be uh tearing this one down and seeing what we can add on to it what we can get done in that video i'm trying not to get everything done in one video i want to take it easy take my time make sure everything gets done right and you know lock tight what needs to be lock tight bolts nuts bolts everything We'll see what happens, guys. Um, I might, nah, I was going to put the magnetic body, but I'll leave it like that with the pins. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the guys that recently viewed my videos and subscribed to me. Appreciate all of you. Um, and everybody that's been leaving comments and, you know, it's all been positive. Thank you very much. I appreciate all of you. Uh, well, we'll see you on the next one. It's going to be in a couple of days, but this one's, it's going to be, I, I, I'm going to do some work to this one. So, thanks guys for sticking around. We'll see you on the next one. Upgrades. Everything's going to be different. See you guys on the next one.